Welcome back everybody, it's easy. Coming to you today, brand new Clash of Clans video. This is a Town Hall 9 attack video. Some Town Hall 9 attacks that every Town Hall 9 should try to use to the best of their abilities. It's a diverse amount, diverse attacks and uh, it's something that our clan has been using very well and th these are great attacks. Probably things you're using already, but I'm going to go over each attack and kind of break them down for you and touch up on some of the finer parts of the attacks because you might be missing one little part and, and might be struggling with it and uh, maybe one little thing I say will help you. <laughs> so, but before we get into that, we have two, the first two attacks are the same attack and I kind of did that for a reason. I wanted to go talk about the opener decided to put that opener in today and have a chance to talk to everyone about who we are in the clan it's kind of an odd thing if you really think about it everyone has their own life everyone does their own thing I know I do I know everyone in our clan does but when we get in the clan and we all get together we can be whoever we want you could be the person who lies and says you're a doctor or a lawyer and, and actually work for the city and collect garbage or you could be the person that has struggled with your life uh, has struggled with relationships has struggled with everything and you get into the clan and you are a, a, gen a scholar and a gentleman and you treat everyone fairly you're nice to everybody you make people smile you make them laugh and You have an opportunity to start all over. It's a very rare opportunity. You don't you don't get that in life very often so I'm encouraging people to try to try to twist it in your head a little bit and really see it for what it is you can be whoever you want, so be something awesome. That's all I'm saying. So, now that I've said that, don't know what inspired me to say that or, or even come up, you know, think about that stuff, but I, I've been thinking about it a lot in our clan because we have so many awesome people that when someone goes through anything in, in our clan, everyone's there for them, everyone has great advice. And sometimes I'm thinking, man, if, if real life was as pleasant as a clan could be, wouldn't that be nice? And you can make that environment as nice as you want. You don't have to be hostile. You don't have to be negative all the time. You don't have to, um, you know, pressure people because they didn't get three stars in an attack or they didn't do something right. You have a chance to really be something special. And I, I encourage you to try to do that. So, that being said, <clears throat> this was Creeper. Uh, anyone who's been watching the channel for a little while knows Creeper's got multiple accounts. This is one of his small accounts. Um, got level four dragons he's attacking town hall nines now the clan that we fought didn't have the best town hall nine so this this particular video is not going to show you town hall nine versus max town hall nine and i know that's you know a lot of a lot of people will say well hey, of course he three starred he didn't have a hard base but it's we just work with what we got so he's attacking uh f he's number 13 he's attacking 14 and 15 still did a great job anyone who's used dragons knows that dragons can go down to town hall nine uh, I think they have town hall eight defenses as far as the air defenses but they did have um, they did have crossbows set to air now one way creeper will start off with every single one of his dragaloon attacks is he will pull the clan castle troops he'll pull the dragon out and then he'll double team the dragon by putting two dragons in on it and then on the while the dragon is crossing over or whatever the clan castle troops are, are crossing over he pulls them out to an area where he can drop the lightning spell Matter of fact, drop two lightning spells right on top of the clan castle troops. And if he, if there's a witch in there, he'll catch that witch, and that witch will be gone by the time it crosses over uh, the air defenses. Because as soon as he, he puts that minion off in the corner, and he puts it in a place to where the clan castle troops have to cross over the air defenses to get to the minion, and he'll lightning the air defenses while the, the clan castle troops are crossing over it. It's a timing thing. It's not easy. It's something that anyone who's doing any kind of Dragaloon or Laloon and you're going to take out the air defenses with a lightning and earthquake spell, you should practice this, practice this, practice this. Um, if the clan castle is not pullable and the queen's nearby, you can tag her a little bit with a lightning spell. Try to get as much value as you can out of the lightning spell because uh, you'll have to use an earthquake and two lightning spells most often. That's a lot of spell usage to take out one air defense. And we know that it's very necessary most of the time to, t to take out at least one air defense. Now, that, which brings me to my next point. When you're building your Town Hall 9, there's a lot of dragon attacks out there now. Town Hall 10, you'll see a lot of dragons out there now. Um, there are some very big, successful YouTubers that are really pushing dragon raids. His clan, their clans are doing great with them. So you're going to see more dragon raids. Separate those air defenses to where they can't put one earthquake down and hit two air defenses. Make them burn that last half spell on that second, on that second earthquake. 
So this next attack is by Bungle. I'm real proud of Bungle. He came up from our from our feeder clan. He is now a permanent member of the main clan, and he's using a Laloon attack. He likes to start this attack the same way almost every time. If possible, he'll use one or two hogs, depending on what the clan castle is. And uh, drop the hog rider in. The hog rider jumps over the walls. Now we have the clan castle troops come out. Then he will put down one minion, pull the clan castle troops over to him, and he puts the same troop in every time. This this kind of consistency is great. He puts the poison spell down, drops out one dragon. He brings one dragon with him every time, and then drops the queen behind the dragon, so the so the so his dragon kind of tanks for the queen. And that dra and that clan castle dragon is it goes down so quick and easy. And that little that little combination, dragon queen, and now you have the dragon come in. Sometimes, like in this case here, it just ends up pathing right into an air defense. But sometimes it ends up pathing into cannons or mortars or something that's it can take out itself. Or if not, it might uh, path into archer towers that are now it's now tanking for the archer queen. So great tech, great technique. Uh, so now he's going to use an, another very very popular popular um, strategy where he'll put in a whole line of balloons and it looks like it's just some kind of simple brainless thing and and you know mass attacks can be um, but he puts in a, a whole line of balloons and then he and he does this so it's very simple for him to spread out his spells and he puts in three lava hounds the three lava hounds run ahead they get on top of the two fir first two air defenses he uses the haste spells and the rage spells to push the, the lava hounds over on top of the air defenses so fast that neither one of the lava hounds are and, and None of the three end up popping over the first two air defenses, so he has two uh, damaged but not dead <laughs> Lava Hounds going to the last two air defenses, and he still has a couple spells left, so he can use those spells to kind of push the balloons towards the last two air defenses. You get a square base like this, that all the defenses are symmetrical and evenly placed. The Lava the, the Laloon is a, is a deadly, deadly attack. If, if you are not um, considering or thinking about the Laloon while you're building your base, you're going to be susceptible to it. And if you don't place your defenses in front of your air defenses to where the balloons will literally path away from the air defenses, then you're going to have a lot of trouble because people will easily identify it and then smoke your ass. <laughs> Whoops. No swearing. Uh, okay, next attack. This is from Alm. Alm is an original member. He was actually a member of the old clan. Yes, there was actually life before Damage Inc. Believe it or not, there was. But he was part of the old clan. He came over here. He's been a co-leader in our clan ever since day one. Um, he is using uh, the Go... What is he using? Oh, Go Vaho. Go Vaho. I know it sounds uh, derogatory, but it's actually the Golem, Valkyrie. And then he's going to have Hog Riders coming out, out of the clan castle. This was actually a very popular, popular raid, probably a year, year and a half ago. It's kind of cut back in its popularity since the Witch Slap has now been the top attack probably. But, whenever you have an opportunity to use the Hog Riders and the Valkyries together, they are, they are massive weapons. These Valkyries, we, we've seen, everyone that has been playing for over a year has seen the Valkyries, the rise of the Valkyries and the fall of the Valkyries. They are not as popular as they used to be. But, they, uh, they still have a ton of punch and if you use them properly they are very hard to take out because they go in between the buildings so their their AI is not the same as most troops so they run in between the buildings other defenses they have to you know they're all kind of uh, pointing in towards each other into the middle of the whole group because where the Valkyries run and then you have the hog riders coming behind them he never even used a heal spell on the, on the hog riders he used a, I think he used a rage spell pushed the hog riders through the core it's kind of an unorth unorthodox uh, style, but look how effective it was. Um, if I'm counting, I think there's 10 Valkyries left, and he may have lost one or two hogs, and it was at the end of the raid uh, on a spring trap. So, wow. And this last attack is this is the last attack in the video. This is also from Alm. This is one of his specialty attacks as well. He's been doing this attack since the very first day uh, Neon Knight came to us with this attack, and I think he found it on the first day. <laughs> Um, and this we call the bitch slap, the witch slap, the slap. This is where you will use a couple of walks, which the walks are a very, very popular part of the game right now. And he starts off with a walk in the top left part of the base, the bottom uh, left part of the base, or just the bottom part of the base. And he'll put in three witches, a couple of wizards, and then two or three healers behind each one. And then he's going to set up those two sets of troops 
to walk around the outside of the base. Uh, the, ideally, they won't even go inside the base. I know what they do sometimes, but ideally, they'll go around the outside of the base. Uh, meanwhile, he's going to punch through the middle of the base with his heroes, with a group of wizards. Now, look how awesome that was. One bowler walked down, triggered the giant bombs. The rest of the bowlers went the other way, so only one bowler took damage on it. That never happens to me. They would have all fallen on their faces and ate the giant bomb. <laughs> Uh, I'm terrible in war these days guys. You'll, you won't see easy on any replays um, I'm I've almost been kicked out of my clan my own clan. So I don't know <laughs> Anyway, so and in this this attack has worked perfectly so far You have you have the witches in a group going around the bottom part of the base You have the witches in a group going around the top part of the base one one big part of this attack That I really want to stress is try to get a wizard in there with the witch the wizards have such a high DPS that they kind of the the wizard can can help the the witches push through some of the defenses that at first they'll target the they'll target the uh, the skeletons and they'll target skeletons but if given long enough they will eventually find the witch you put a, a wizard in there they won't have time because the, the wizard will pound on it and two or three shot it and it'll be gone so now he's worked his way around the outside and if you notice this is a very popular result on a lot of the slap attacks we use the flex attack in our clan which is a specialized clan for damage inc which is uh, uh, a bowler walk uh, queen walk and then valkyries giants or or pekka and giants in the middle and um and in the slap they are they're using the clan castle um uh, bowlers and the heroes in the core and they don't make it they didn't they didn't make it to the end and that happens a lot on these slap attacks but because you have these two big groups of troops going around the outside they easily overcame all the outside defenses and met in the back end and another three star for Alm. great great town hall nine attacks guys uh all of those attacks are viable in town hall nine i would really suggest if you don't use any of them check out the video again and start using these attacks these these are going to help you so like the video if you like the video uh, sub to the channel if you haven't subbed to the channel yet I know I don't show how many subs we get but I'm, I'm just amazed at, at the feedback and in the and what kind of response we're getting so be part of the be part of the channel guys sub to the channel I really appreciate you I really do till next time it's been easy take care everybody